right, hello again everyone, and this time we welcome German as our next awesome boss fight with some commentary. So once you reach the end of the game, this section in the hunter's dream opens up and then you can, well, talk to uh, uh, German. Good hunt now. You will die. You will from this tip. <laughs> now, German's a kind of straightforward fight in that um, he's a hunter. So, it's not so hard, I guess, to actually injure him. You can easily parry him while he's doing an attack. And you can also easily counter him. I, I kind of chose a particular way to play this section, and that is, I'd usually parry him when he had his side out full, as he does right now, and as, especially in this particular attack sequence. And then I try to get a visceral attack on him. Try not to be too far away. Kind of straightforward, really. Yeah, sometimes you can do it a bit too early. You just have to time it. Well, at least we hope he attacks. Sometimes I try to parry him after that first attack because sometimes he carries, he sort of like goes into a second attack. Carries on. And this is his kind of like second form where he changes into a gun and sword. Which is a bit harder to parry I found. I think you can still parry him but in the end I chose to just dodge an attack which was really effective in this form. To try to bait out an attack and then just dodge and attack straight away. It's a bit slower than um, parrying, but you know, it works. Okay, in this phase, he starts to sort of like power himself up. But the first time he does this, you want to land in a few hits because it's free hits. He's essentially a bit more powerful, I think. And he's a bit more relentless in his attacks. Now when he does it a second time, he powers up a second time. You don't want to be too close to him because that um aura burst that you see can hit you and it takes out a lot of your health. And that single pistol shot now actually can stagger you even if you don't do anything. So you want to avoid those. But the strategy remains the same. If he's in, a, if he's using his sword and gun, I dodge and parry. I dodge and hit. If he's using his side like he's right now, I try to parry him. Just time it and then parry him. And it makes for a fairly straightforward fight, really. Once you know what to do. I generally, when I'm playing, I try to. Make sure I am confident at one, you know, of pairing one particular move, one particular attack, and then I just try to bait that attack. One or two should be fine. You don't have to parry everything. This particular move seems to want you to not dodge left or right. So I think, for the most part, I just kept dodging backwards. So even walking backwards, I think, um, helps you evade it. So it's not too big a deal.
You can see how much damage he does now. In terms of runes that you would equip, you know, since I'm not using a lot of stamina, I don't use stamina runes really. So you want to use, I use the rune that gives you um, health back with um, visceral attacks and stuff like that, make your visceral attacks stronger and such. Oh, that miss. Probably bury some of that. That was a lucky escape, I guess. And you can also power up your weapon using a magic item. Just for the hell of it. And we're done. And that's how you beat German. And enjoy the quick ending scene. I do like the um, fashion soles I was wearing. And so, the hunt begins again. What is it you desire? 